Hello, hello, hello! My name is Bad Infos, guys, and welcome to a brand new series. This series is gonna be very, very special. It's gonna be a huge surprise to many of you, because many people have not seen what I'm gonna show you, but the people who have been here for, for about a year with me know exactly what this is. The new people. Welcome, new people, first of all. And so, if you don't know me, I'm Bad Infos. I'm a huge GTA player, huge GTA fan. I have been a fan since 2002 of this franchise. I love it so much. And I have completed all the games multiple times, many, many, many times. San Andreas, I think, like 20 plus times. So it's crazy. In the last, I think, Four years? I'm pretty sure four years. I have had winter mod playthroughs on the GTA games. Well, first of all, I did walkthroughs on each GTA game uh, from GTA 3 to GTA. The Battle of Gate Tony for GTA 4. Yeah, all of these I have walkthroughs for. In the, the winters, I said I'm just gonna do standard playthroughs of these games. New series with the winter mod installed, which makes it a little bit more difficult because the car's tight and some missions are more difficult because lighting is a big issue in the missions. But they were just standard playthroughs. Last winter I did a winter mod playthrough on GT3. Uh, actually walkthrough on GT3 with the winter mod. And that was special too. Much more special than before. And last summer I did a playthrough with a summer mod for GTA San Andreas. Well, that summer mod was not just a summer mod, that mod, that edition, that series was very difficult because I had the OHKO mod installed. What is OHKO? OHKO means one hit knockout. What does that mean? Basically, you have no health, you have one HP, which you can do anything with. Because with one HP, anything that touches you, anything that shoots you, anybody that shoots you, if you just drown, if you take hunger damage in San Andreas, you just instantly die. Oh well, I did a full playthrough on that, with that mod installed and the summer mod separately installed in that series too. Well, that series was very difficult to complete, it took me 18 whole episodes. And I died, a total of 137 times. Well, that was super interesting, incredibly fun. Something new to experience in the game. You guys love the hell out of it. So I said, let's just do a one on GTA Vice City 2. This summer playthrough has this summer mode installed. Well, the summer mode is no proper summer mod, but I have a bunch of mods installed, and the OHKO mod for GTA Vice City. Because yes, this game also has an OHKO mod. And actually, this playthrough is gonna be more difficult than San Andreas' playthrough, because in San Andreas you have cover, you can cover behind stuff, you can crouch here but you can't move and stuff, there's no silenced weapons, so you cannot really kill people from, from a distance when you're silent, there's no sneaky mechanics. No, no, no. This is more difficult. Vice City is a more difficult game and GTA 3 is even more difficult than GTA Vice City. So, this playthrough is gonna be more difficult than San Andreas, however, it's shorter. Way shorter. This series is gonna have only 8 episodes. 10 less episodes, and that's because San Andreas is a huge game. It's enormous. Vice City is not enormous. No, no, no. GG Vice City is a pretty short game overall. You can complete the whole game in. Uh, I would guess 5 hours. Yeah, about 5 hours if you have more HP. But I didn't have more HP, I have just one hit point, dudes. So what does OHKO mod mean? I guess many of you don't know what this is. Basically, if you take any damage whatsoever, if somebody punches you, if somebody runs you over, just bumps into you with your car, if you just uh, fall down a small ledge, 
like this roof on the left. If you fall from the roof, you just die. If you take a little bit of fire damage, if you just touch the fire, just touch it slightly, you die. If um, you fall off a helicopter, whatever, you die instantly. And that makes this very, very difficult, because with one hit point you can't do much. Do you wonder how many more times you can die, how many ways you can die more? Or let me demonstrate. BAM! Wasted. First that in the series! <laughs> yes guys, expect this to happen a lot. Because it is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> Just so many times, okay. So in GTA San Andreas, I died 137 times. Can you guys guess how many times I'll die in this series? Like I said, it's more difficult. However, it's shorter. Only 8 episodes as opposed to 18 episodes. I think San Andreas took me 17 hours to beat. This... Uh, I guess like... 7 hours? Uh, no... Maybe, maybe 5 hours, I would guess. Meh, 5, 6, I don't know, I don't know. The, there's 8 episodes. And the episodes are an average of 30 minutes. The first one is 30, 2 minutes, the second one is 34, then 30 minutes, and then 36 minutes, the fifth one is 29 minutes, the sixth one is 30 minutes, let's say, the seventh one is 42 minutes, and the last one is 19 minutes. Yeah, so about 30 minutes average are the episodes. Can you guys guess how many times I'll die in this series? If you remember in the GTA 3 playthrough, I had a giveaway in mind. What happened was whoever guessed the closest won a game from me. Or let's do the same thing guys, I wanna give back to you guys, because you guys have supported me so many times throughout the years, so much. Also look at this <laughs> stupid fight, <laughs> I can't really stay next to him because if he hits me I'm dead, so I'm just trying to... And also I died so I lost my weapons, I was gonna just shoot him but no, I lost my weapons. Anyway, about the giveaway, you guys can leave in the comment section the number of deaths you guess. You can guess from one death to a thousand billion deaths, doesn't matter, you guys can guess, you don't know the answer, I know the answer because I already completed this series, I know how many times exactly I'll die. But you guys can guess in the comment section how many times I'll die. Whoever guesses the closest is gonna win GTA 3 or Vice City or San Andreas, one of these three games is gonna be given to you. The only requirement is that if you have a Steam account, because I'll give the game to you on Steam. The last winner was XGamerX and Mario Bay. These two winners, I had two winners. So this time, I don't know, I, I could have 10 winners, it doesn't matter. If you, however, use multiple accounts that you have to to guess, you're gonna be banned forever from my channel, because I did that too, the last time. A person got banned, because he cheated the system, don't cheat the system, don't try to cheat the system, I have ways of checking the validity of your accounts. So have fun, guess the time saying if you win, great, if you don't wanna win, if you just, you can guess just for fun. If you don't want to win a game, if you have the game already, just guess and say I don't want the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this series, it's gonna be a blast. I had a blast playing this game, it was so mega fun, it was a whole new way of playing the game guys. All the strategies I had before are completely gone. Because my, my normal way of playing is just get into the face of danger, just stay in the gunfire and shoot the guys. Well, here you cannot do that, guys. There's many missions in which you are on foot. You just stay on foot. They throw like 20 people at you. 
and you have to survive <laughs> and they constantly shoot at you so the series is difficult that's what I wanna say so you can guess how many times will die and hopefully there are gonna be many winners we shall see the winners are gonna be announced in the last episode which is episode number 8 so we have 8 episodes, that's 2 a week, I have 2 episodes a week that means that this series is gonna be done in a week in the summer, I think I'll start it in June, I'm pretty sure we shall see so after that we have still summer left, we have like 2 more uh, months of summer so what I'll do is I'll continue not this series but San Andreas' series the OHKO series I'll continue that to 100% yes I did I just completed the game in that series but I'll continue the game at 100% because you guys requested it after this series so expect that too this summer is gonna be amazing two OHKO modes playthroughs this is just gonna be for game completion not for 100% and maybe next summer I'll continue it to 100% it depends on you if you guys want it of course if you don't enjoy the series then no of course I won't play to 100% but if I do it's gonna be in the next summer so I leave your feedback of course leave your guesses of course in the comment section of this video you guys have until I upload the second episode to guess after I upload the second episode you can no longer guess of course you can guess but it's not gonna be a valid entry I hope you understood that after I upload the second episode stop guessing you cannot win anything after that because I can just die I mean I, I mean that's I'm doing this because you guys can guess in the seventh episode when I have the exact number of deaths so yeah I don't want you guys to cheat the system because in this episode I die a few times and you can guess after you see that after you see this death but after you see more deaths I don't want you to guess because it's gonna be closer to the answer so yeah I'm gonna have people ranging from one dead to one billion dead actually nobody's gonna guess one dead because there's gonna be one more dead in this episode well and not only one more dead a few more deaths in this episode that's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it anymore I'll have more deaths in this episode more than one more than two yeah and the whole series is gonna have more than uh, eh, more than three let's say I'm not gonna spoil it again that's your hint guys I'll have more than three deaths so don't guess less than three that's your hint not more not less hope you enjoy guys we have a bunch of mods installed let me list them I have the OHKO mod of course this is uh, mandatory because it's an OHKO <laughs> summer playthrough I have the draw distance mod 10 times draw distance you can see 10 times away from your location 10 times uh, further away than usual that's the draw distance I have a separate draw distance mod from Space Einstein that's the mod creator which changes each building so the 10 times draw distance mod just gives me more distance but the buildings themselves don't really pop out they're not really visible that much but with this mod which is separate it adds more draw distance so more detail in the distance it's not perfect of course but it's a lot better so three modes so far I have the ENB series for GTA Vice City the ENB mod plus an extra pack to the mod which makes these wonderful colors you see 
and also the reflections you see on the cars and on everything. I tried a bunch of VNB packs, I guess, but all of them just gave me so much blur to the game. It was blurry, it was... it had depth of field, which is such an annoying effect in such an old game. For a new game, okay, but for an old game, just like Vice City, it looks so horrific. So yeah, reflections with the ENB series. I have Vice City HD effects. Whenever something explodes or catches on fire, you can see different effects. And that looks amazing, I think. Much better than the original. So also, um, in this series, I... I haven't really played GTA Vice City in a while, so I have forgotten many things about the mission. So in this mission I forgot that you have to destroy the the trucks. So I said, okay, I'll just kill a bunch of people and then I'll continue the mission. But actually if you destroy the, the trucks beforehand, it would have been better and much more easier, because as you can see, I almost died here, they took me out, I would be dead instantly. I could have prevented all of this, but no forgetful info strikes again. So yes, I had to destroy these trucks. Which I completely forgot about. Yeah. And destruction and also... Dude, did I die? Did I die? Nope, I did not die! That was ultra mega lucky, guys! He lost interest. If he was with me, I would have died here. I have died so many more ways in such, such stupid ways in this playthrough, you're gonna see. Due to my mistakes, like the first death. Did you see the first death, guys? It was so idiotic. I could have prevented that so well, but no. I didn't, because I'm a doodoo hit. Also in GTA Vice City you have to listen to these phone calls, unfortunately. In San Andreas you don't have to, but in GTA Vice City you do have to. This playthrough is gonna be just for the main missions, not uh, side missions. If I have to get money for instance, I'll do side missions, and if I have to get, uh, for instance, fireproof to be fireproof, I will get I'll complete a side mission which prevents me from getting fire damage and basically if I need something I'll just do a side mission. But otherwise this is not a 100% playthrough so I'll not bother with side missions. I'll just do main missions for game completion. If I need something I'll do side missions. There's 8 episodes as I said. So I did do some side missions, yes. I had to do some side missions because it was required. You'll see why in the future. Just stick around and watch all the episodes. And especially watch this San Andreas OHKO mod summer playthrough. Definitely watch it. It is ultra mega cool. I love that series. I actually watched I think four episodes for fun. I usually don't watch my own videos, but I did watch that one. Like four episodes, I think, of that series. Because it's so fun for me. Yeah, for me it's fun. I made the video and it's fun for me. It's crazy. Also, in this series I won't have uh, replay exploits. Okay, I did kind of use an exploit, but was it wasn't a replay exploit. You'll see in the future. But no replay exploits are allowed. If they were, this series would be two hours long. Seriously, replay exploits are super overpowered and they take the fun out of the game. There's no point in playing if it's a speedrun of okay, of course. And I would use re replay exploits. But for this playthrough, no, it's not gonna be fun, guys. I wanna just beat the game with one hit point. I wanna say someday to my grandkids, oh grandkids, do you know I once beat GTA Vice City at uh, with one hit point? Oh, 
Come, hug your grandpa. I'm a master of Chichi Vice City. I want to say that to my grandkids. It will be so cool. Of course, none of them are going to be interested in Vice City, in games. <laughs> of course, nobody's going to be interested, but I'm going to be like, Oh, uh, grandkids, I beat Chichi Vice City with one hit point. <laughs> what am I talking about? I had to be careful here because these dudes, if they touched me, I would be dead. So nice prevention there, I think. Good way of doing this mission. I could just go to pay and spray here, but I said, eh, screw it, I won't. Whoa! I forgot about this. Oh, look at the fire, yeah, look at the fire. It is from the HD effects mod. Oh, nice replacement, same color too. Woo! Oh, that was close. This uh, prolonged my star, unfortunately. So I'll take a different star from here. If you steal a car, of course, it uh, continues the star duration. So second star and mission complete. I need a bunch of cash in this game because in the future I have to buy a bunch of properties. I have to own not properties, but assets. I have to own six assets and I have to do all the missions associated with them. If you don't know about this, then watch my checklist for GTA Vice City, which lists all the requirements for game completion and for 100% completion. I'm not doing 100% here, but it's good to know. It's good to watch that video. If you're interested. Also, if you're interested, you can just play with me. I'll have two episodes a week. About a half an hour each uh, episode. You can play as I am playing. You can watch me play and you can play with me. And complete the game at, with one hit point like I am. You can follow my... Uh, I don't really give instructions here, but you can watch... Uh, me play and give uh, get ideas from my playthrough and also this is my first time playing with the OHKO mod some missions I have never done this way I have never seen anybody do it this way I have never watched playthroughs with the OHKO mod I have never watched speedruns before this I watched a speedrun after I completed my playthrough so <laughs> It was such a surprise, actually, that some missions were much easier to do if I just watched the speedrun, but no, it was fun figuring stuff out by myself. It was awesome! And this is a mission which... Oh, got me so much trouble. Because they just put you in the middle of a gunfight, like six people just shooting at you. Also, something I forgot to mention is that if I die a bunch of times, I'll just skip the trip to the mission and I'll just show you the deaths themselves. Me dying. Because you wouldn't want to watch the same thing over and over again. I don't think so, at least. So, I just skip the trips and I'm showing the deaths. I have five deaths so far, guys! Died so many times! This mission was way more difficult than I anticipated, and yes, of course it's difficult because they put you in the middle of a gunfight. So yeah, it's difficult. And he punched me. This guy punched me! That's crazy, stupid! And if I stop dying, if if I show the last death, I just show the trip to the next attempt. Uh, how can I explain this? I can't really... So, I die a bunch of times. If I die a bunch of times, I just show the deaths themselves. But if I stop dying in this mission, I'll show the whole trip with my completed attempt. So yes, this is my completed attempt of this mission. I'll just complete this mission in this attempt. I died uh, four times in this mission, which is uh, pretty tame, honestly. <laughs> For such a difficult mission, it's pretty tame. I should have died way more times, but I got lucky. Mm -hmm. I got lucky. So, so far I have six deaths. 
Is it six deaths? Isn't five deaths? Three. Oh, it's five deaths. Yeah, I did that uh, five times so, so far. So, guys, how many times I'll die? Can you guess? I hope you do. I hope any of you guess. And I hope you enter the giveaway, of course. I hope you enter the, the guessing game. If you don't want the game, of course, then don't guess. You can guess if you don't even want the game. You can just say, oh, I guess you're gonna die 20 times. I guess you're gonna die 120 times. I hope. I, I guess you're gonna die 220 times. I, I guess you can die 500 times. You can guess any of these numbers. And I hope you win. Also, did you see how the the markers are different, different color? This is actually a book. It's not from the mod. It, it's from the mod. It's a book from the mod. But the mod does not make it that color. So it's a book. It does not change the colors, but for some reason they're different. I don't know. It's maybe from the combination of mods. Oh, also I have the widescreen fix. That's a different mod too the widescreen fix for GTA Vice City, so my icons or my hood is a little different. You can see that they're small, pretty small. So guys, I didn't really talk much about the, the gameplay in this, uh, in this video, but uh, I just wanted to explain some stuff in the first episode. In the second episode, I'm gonna talk more about the gameplay, so I hope you stick around, we have 8 episodes to go through, so one whole month of this crap, <laughs> I hope you enjoy. If you don't enjoy then let me know what you want, and if you want me to continue this series to 100%, just beat the game at 100%, let me know too, cause you guys wanted me to complete GTA San Andreas. To 100% with the OHKO mod and I'll deliver, I'll do that for you guys because you, many of you, requested it. So after I complete this I could do 100% for this game too, but in the next year, not this year. This year we have San Andreas and GTA Vice City, just game completion. So let's see Diaz, hello Diaz, you look awesome, awesomely fat. He's not fat, he's just chubby. Must be Cortez's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage. Short ass loud mouth. So this is a different mission which is difficult because people shoot at you. Well, they don't really shoot at you. Most of the time they shoot uh, the other guys, mostly. Which makes it a little bit easier than normal, but uh, still, it's still a difficult mission. Overall. Vice City is more difficult, but again it's way smaller than San Andreas, so yeah, I could have less deaths, I could have more deaths, we shall see. Anyway, let's uh, stand here, this is a pretty good cover I guess, there's no cover system, so I guess in GTA 4 it will be easier, these missions will be easier, but you can take damage from a car. If you're in a car, you can take damage, but in GTA Vice City, you cannot. So, I'm not sure which is gonna be more difficult, GTA 4 or GTA Vice City. Is there even mods, an OHK mod for GTA 4? Is there? Huh. That's a good question. I wonder that myself. This is all the cover you can get, guys. You can kinda hide beca behind this. But not much cover, yeah. That's pretty much all the cover you can get. Also, I'm not collecting packages. Which means I'll have way less guns in this playthrough. And uh, so far, I didn't die in this mission, guys. I was expecting to die, I got super lucky again. They didn't really target me, but still, could have died pretty easily in this mission. Yeah, but I didn't, because I'm a master. No, <laughs> he just got lucky, of course. I'm not a, an awesome player. 
you're gonna see that. Just watch a speedrun and then watch my video. You're gonna see how different I play and how much worse I am than many players. But still, I have beaten the game multiple times. And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. My name is Barry Infos and I hope to see you again, TLC boy. And Lance is gone. Stupid Lancey Poo. Oh man, Lancey boy is gonna cause some deaths in this playthrough, guys. And bam, because <laughs> it's myself. I was just crying from laughter here. <laughs> Actually, I think I was angry because this was a stupid death. I'm gonna die a bunch of times in some very, very stupid ways. Some completely unneeded ways. And I got so angry and I was laughing too at myself. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a blast talking in this video, just watching myself fail over and over again. It was interesting watching myself, it was interesting doing it too. And I hope it was interesting watching me. You guys watching me. Hope you stick around and I hope you guess correctly in the guessing game. I'll just go safe and I'll just end this episode. As I said, every episode is about an average of 30 minutes. The next one is gonna be 30, about 35 minutes, 34 and a half, about minutes. And it's gonna be 32, I guess. So guys, thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to all my lovely Patreon supporters, Alex Chavez and everyone else listed here. I'll see you in the next episode.